Hello and welcome to Course and Pack, where we unlock the different degree programs from different Philippine universities. I am your host, Max Gonzon, and today we have Angel to talk about materials engineering from UPD. Am I right, Angel? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so to start, let's have our introductions. So tell me your name, your preferred pronouns, other information that you want to share, and your degree program your year level, and from what university? Uh, I'm Angel Reyes. So um, I'm in BS Materials Engineering in UP Diliman. Uh, first year, because I actually shifted last time from Kemeng. Ano yung preferred pronouns mo? Ah, she, her. Okay. So actually, ngayon ko lang nalaman na you actually shifted. So I think that's an interesting thing. And... To start, to get it out of the way na, um, why did you shift from chemeng to materials engineering? Um, kasi at the start, uh, pinagpipilian ko actually yung course, na, yung degree program na BS Chemistry and B, BS Materials Science and Engineering ng Ateneo, tapos uh, yung BS Materials Engineering ng UP. Mm. So, pero ang na- Ang nalagay ko kasi yung first choice din, since hindi ko pa alam yung materials engineering, uh, chemeng nalagay ko. So, since napasok ako sa chemeng, I had to shift to get to mateng. Mm. Okay, that's very interesting. So, mateng talaga yung gusto mo, pero yung nalagay mo sa degree program choices mo is chemeng na first yeah. choice. Okay. So, describe materials engineering in two to three sentences. Um, materials engineering is uh, it's a, it's the study of how the structure of a material affects its property. So, for example, um, kung paano nag-work yung atom sa metal, yun yung nagiging reason kung bakit na ba nagkakonduction ng electricity and yung atom sa glasses, sa ceramics, ganun din kung bakit sila brittle, things like that. So there actually there's a lot of chemistry and physics involved in the course. And um an example of an application is yung sa car. 'Di ba kapag nabangga yung car, natutupi yung metal. Mm. It was specifically designed like that para yung impact ng bangga mapupunta sa car and hindi dun sa passengers. Mm. Okay, okay. So this explains pala why race cars are generally lighter than our usual cars, no? Mm. Okay, so yun yung mga applications ng materials engineering. So what do you do in your degree program and describe a typical day as a materials engineering student? So um, dahil heavy siya sa chemistry and physics, marami actually kami yung lab classes. So may lab classes sa physics. And may lab classes sa chem, lalo na kapag freshie ka pa. Tapos kapag later years, may lab classes dun sa department namin mismo on materials engineering subjects. I see, I see. Pero ngayong, ano, ngayong pandemic, like how how do you con- conduct your, classe, your classes? Um, ano yung mga usually na pinapagawa sa inyo to learn? Um... Actually, more on modules and sadly, yung mga experiments, uh, vid- videos lang sila since hindi namin sila pwede go in, in real life. Mm. Videos or home experiments na pwede namin go in sa bahay like with candy, like um, yung diffusion sa candy na ginagawa ng ibang org mates pa now. And sa chem naman talagang videos sila. Pati okay. sa physics. Oh, speaking of org mates, does your degree program have a home org and how does it help you as a materials engineering student? Like, any mga activities uh, nyo and mga events nyo? Mm-hmm. Um, yung department kasi namin, uh, tatlo siya, uh, mining materials saka metallurgical engineering. So, may tatlong home org din sa department. Um, uh, niners, tapos miners saka yung uh, yung sinalihan ko personally uh, UP MSS uh, Material Science Society. Mm. So I actually specifically joined yun kasi um they do wisdom Wednesdays. That's how I found out about the org then. They post it on Facebook. So um for example they take a new material or an already existing material dito 
sa um, around us and then they write an article about it and may pub then and i actually wrote several na uh, i wrote about cork iud's and i think na joining and writing those articles actually helped me uh research more on materials and as well as develop uh, writing skills and research skills okay so yung home org mo it doesn't only help you as a math and student but it also improves your skills for example in writing na not necessarily related to math and am i right yeah yeah <laughs> okay so you talked about the different departments in your college so what makes your degree program math and unique from other similar programs so merong ano no mining and metallurgical so how is mm-hmm. it unique from them Um, yung mining engineering, um, talagang more on logistics siya of mining. Like, um, yung pagdidig, paghahanap ng mga veins and stuff like that. Yung metallurgical, um, specific siya sa processing ng metals. Yeah. Yung materials engineering, more general siya. It's actually uh, wider. Like, um, may ceramics, may polymers, at saka may metals. And also, it's possible to study um, nanomaterials, biomaterials, stuff like that. Mm. Um, it also, nakakompare din madalas sa chemeng, mm. yung mateng. Pero um, yung main difference, sa chemeng kasi uh, macro yung scale niya. Ibig sabihin nun, um, scaling up talaga siya. For example, yung recipe para sa toothpaste, iba siya kung gagawa ka ng small batch versus kung gagawa ka ng... Uh, malaking batch sa plant. Iba, mag, mag-iba yung recipe and logistics noon, yung heating kung kailangan man. And sa materials engineering, micro talaga siya. Um, tinitignan namin yung structure ng atoms and kung paano niya na-affect yung overall performance ng material. Okay, okay. I see. So, meron bang mga similar degree programs na in-offer ng other university? And if there are, ano sa tingin mo yung disadvantages ng UP. And ano naman yung mga edge ng UP from those degree programs? Mm. Um, yung naging main comparison ko yung sa Ateneo, yung chemistry and yung double degree nila. So mm. actually, um, yung Ateneo, I guess advantage na na double degree yun. So parang pagka-graduate mo, Um, chemist ka plus may knowledge ka on material science and engineering. Go on. I think yung edge din ng Ateneo is uh, may philo and theology course, uh, courses sila kung interested ka dun. Um, for me naman, yung naging edge ng UP, kung bakit ko pinili, uh, mas gusto ko yung mas focused sa sa engineering part ng material science oh, and engineering okay. at uh, may mga labs kasi sa sa department ng mat, ng materials engineering sa UP so um I, I found it really interesting nung nalaman kong may uh, plasma materials interaction laboratory tapos meron ding uh, materials for arts design and engineering na Um, applications ng matututunan sa earlier years. And yeah, that's ultimately what made me choose UP. Okay. So, how do you apply your degree program in your day-to-day life? Kung na-apply mo man siya. Kasi some degree programs are harder to apply in your day-to-day mm-hmm. life. Pero for example, for art courses, siguro, other students can apply it to their passion projects. Eh, ikaw, as a mateng student, how can you apply it to your day-to-day life? Mm. Uh, actually, <laughs> kapag namimili ako ng gamit or like kapag nagsha-shopee ako, parang mas ini-scrutinize ko kung saan gawa, like kung anong okay. klase ng plastic. <laughs> kung mas okay ba siya metal, plastic, or whatever. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. So, effective pala itong ano, no? Itong mateng in online shopping. <laughs> okay, so... Tapos, Ah, yeah. go on, go on. Go ahead. Ay, tas, uh, may napanood ako sa Netflix. Uh, it's called Bio Architecture. Tapos, ano siya, sa 
uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, there's this woman named Neri Oxman. Tapos, ano, yung laboratory niya, kinakombine niya actually yung art saka yung engineering, art, science, engineering, mm-hmm. and like parang multiple disciplines. So yung gumagawa silang mga exhibits, ba, um, parang structure siya na gawa sa cocoons, things like that. And yeah, so parang ang interesting na pwede natin integrate yung mga biological stuff like parang spider webs into making better materials. Mm, I see, I see. Okay, so for my next question, what common misconceptions do people have about materials engineering? Mm, siguro, wala pa masyado. Actually, more of hindi siya masyadong kilala sa course. Alala ko nung tinatanong ako ng mga Uh, ng mga tito-tita ko, parang ano gagawin mo sa college? Tapos sabi ko, materials engineering. Tapos parang, ha, huh, ano yun? Um, yung ibang org mates ko naman, na parang imbis na i-explain daw nila minsan, sabi na lang nila chem-eng sila. So parang, I think, in, instead of <laughs> misconception, more of hindi pa siya ganun ka kilala as a course. Okay, so kung di pa siya ganun ka kilala, how do you think yung best way to introduce it to someone who doesn't know Matt Eng. Kasi me, honestly, I know about Matt Eng. Like, I've heard about it. Pero, I don't know what you guys do. So, how will you explain it to a, um, an average person? Um, I think it's best explained by uh, yung applications niya tulad nga nung ano kung bakit natutupi yung car kapag uh, bumangga or things like um, Um, yung polymer ceramics metals. Actually, um, hindi ko pa masyadong na-study, pero I think big din sa semiconductor industry yung materials engineering. So, things okay. like that. So, speaking of misconceptions, and ayun nga, since di siya ganun kakilala, ano yung mga career paths na pwede when you graduate? Mm. Um, I think, Uh, personally, I think gusto kong mapunta sa, ano, sa research part. More on researching new materials, saka applications niya. Pero marami ring industry jobs tulad nga nung sa semiconductor industry. Um, pwede rin talaga siya sa research department ng mga gumagawa ng products. And pwede rin uh, teaching. Mm, okay. So, can you think of any notable graduates na galing Matt Eng? Mm, honestly, I think wala pa ako maisip kasi nga parang relatively new siya. If ever man meron, parang mostly nagma-masters din sila muna overseas or um, to lay research pa sila. <laughs> okay. So, those are my questions. Um, To conclude, ano yung advice mo to young students who want to pursue this degree program and where can they find out more about Matt Eng? Like, ano mga resources or website siguro ng college nyo or ng home org mo to help them know more about your degree program? Um, actually, ako nung nag-research din ako, mostly nga, nakita, yung nakita ko parang marami ding uh, hindi updated na website. Mm. So, marami akong <laughs> new research uh, sa sa subreddit ng UP, sa RPUPS, pati sa subreddit ng Ateneo to ask then like graduates kung ano yung ginawa nila and kung ano yung mga nangyari sa course. Um, mm. Yung page ng org ko uh, sa Facebook, UP Material Science Society and yung page naman ng department namin, UP Department of Metallurgy, uh, UP DMMM, uh, Metallurgical Mining Materials Engineering. Yeah. Okay. So, um, advice? Yeah, advice. I think um, for students, kasi uh, marami din ako naririnig ng mga tao na um, parang napunta daw sila sa chem eng dahil kala nila dun ka mapupunta if mahilig ka sa chemistry. So um if may lig pero actually hindi actually hindi more on chemistry yung chem eng. Uh it's more on plant processes as far as yung major na na try ko. 
So I think it's worth looking into material science and engineering kung passion nila yung physics and chem. And also, okay lang actually kung galing ka sa chem or other related courses like uh, chemistry, physics, pwede ka pa rin mag-masters na lang to learn more about material science and engineering. Kasi uh, maganda actually yung masters ng UP for MSc. Actually, nalik ka din tong about chem na if you love chemistry, don't go to chem Pero to actually <laughs> hear it from one of my friends na I, I think... <laughs> Mad- madalas nga itong sabihin and mukhang totoo nga. So, yung advice mo is for them to check out other degree programs such as itong sa MATENG, no? Yeah, actually. I think it's worth looking into kasi heavy talaga yung MATENG sa chem, sa, sa physics. So, baka, baka yun yung hinahanap Anak nila yun. talaga. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, so for this last part, you can plug your social media platforms or your passion projects kung meron man or kung may mga advocacies ka. Oh man, wala pa ako as of now. Sobrang <laughs> draining ng online classes. Um, yung Twitter sa IG ko na lang siguro. Uh, it's at cold, C-O-L-D, sweeter, S-W-E-E-T-E-R. Uh, yun okay. lang. Pero it's for passion project. Sobrang <laughs> heavy pa ng load. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's for my questions. Thank you so much, Angel, for sharing with us a very unique course. Actually, marami akong hindi alam about materials engineering. And this episode has been very enlightening for me. And learning these things, actually, naging interesado ko about Matt Engmore. So, thank you so much for joining me tonight. And I guess that's it for this episode. If you want to see other degree programs to be featured here, comment it down below and tell us para magawa natin ang episode and para makapag-invite ako ng mga people to tell us their stories and their degree programs. So that's it and bye-bye.